In this video, we are going to be talking about electric field. Now, there is a problem on the board in which we are going to attempt after I've um, explained whatever is important to know concerning an electric field. Okay. Now, first things first, you might want to ask yourself, what is an electric field? Okay, what is it used for? And then, what comes with it? Now, an electric field is simply a region of space around the charge, not more. Okay. So, the region of space around the charge is what we call an electric field. But then again, I'm still going to emphasize more on it so that you don't just um, take note that this is the region of space around an electric charge. Okay? Because, for example, if we're having a positive charge, this point, let's call this point A, is a region around the charge. Okay? So we can say, since this one is a region around the charge, it's an electric field. Okay? Not bad. But what if we come here to say there is another point, point B, still outside the electric charge? Okay, this is also a region of space around, so are we going to still call it an electric field? Let's see how it goes. Now, an electric charge has what we call imaginary lines around it, and those imaginary lines are called electric flux. Okay, so for a positive charge, the electric flux are directed outward. Okay, so for a positive charge, the electric flux are what now directed outward. Now, in this case, you see the imaginary lines are going out. Okay, that is out of the charge, the outside will tell you that they are going outside. Now, anywhere these imaginary lines touch is what we call the electric field. But we can actually measure the length or how long they are, okay? Because like I said, they are what now? Imaginary charge. We can only um, show that they exist, okay? By, um, by um, doing various experiments. So these lines are coming out of the charge, okay? And any region they touch is what we call the what now? The electric field of this particular charge. Now, the electric field has what we call um, a strength, okay? Or an intensity. And it either increases or decreases depending on if you are going outside of the charge that is farther away or you are coming towards the charge. Now, in this case, this charge is at a point, a stationary point. Okay, if I move from here down to point B, okay, from um, the charge down to point B, what will happen is that the electric charge will slowly decrease as I go away from it. So, a region of space where uh, we know that it won't even exist at all, or its um, strength will be so so small that we might not even want now no cities. Now, at this point that is close to this, it's going to experience more electric um, strength than B because A is closer to what now? To the charge. Now, the electric field strength has a formula and the electric field strength or electric field intensity is given as the force per unit charge that is going to exist in a region of space of what now? An electric field. We can as well get another formula because F is equal to KQ1, Q2 over R squared which we already talked about in our um, video on electrostatics, talking about Coulomb's law, okay? We do know that F is equal to K, but since we're having Q here, I'm just going to make it of Q twice. So we're having Q times Q divided by the square of R. Now, in this case, R is not the distance between two point charges, but rather it is the distance from one charge down to the space where we want to calculate the electric field strength. So in this case, when I substitute into this formula, I'm going to get the final value of kq divided by r squared okay this is a formula for calculating what now electric field intensity or electric field strength now take note of this formula because we're going to be using it to solve this problem okay as well as any other one that comes with it that we can work with that formula okay now still on this charge like i said as we go away further away from the charge what happens is that the electric field strength tends to reduce or decrease and as you are approaching the charge it tends to do what now increase Okay, how about the units for calculating electric field intensity? E is equal to F over Q. Okay, force is in newtons, Q is in coulombs, so the um, units is what now? Newtons per coulomb. Now, the problem given on the board in this case says in a rectangular coordinate system, two positive point charges of the power of minus 8 coulombs each are fixed at the point x1, y1, 0, 0.10, zero, and then x2, y2, minus 0, 0.10, zero, and then um, where all distances are in meters, find the magnitude and direction of the electric field intensity as the following points, the origin, as well as um, this coordinate, 0 0.2 comma 0. Now, to do that, we have to draw a diagram that will show what we are talking about on this question, okay? So, I'm going to draw something like this. Now, um, since we're talking about coordinates of this space, the first thing I want to do is identify the origin. Now, the origin is at the center which is 0, comma, 0, okay? The origin at the center. And then the first coordinate that was given to us was um, 0 0.1, 
comma zero okay zero point one comma zero now the first one is going to use for x and the second one is for y so we have zero point one comma zero so from here to here we are going to have a distance of zero point one meter okay remember they said all um, distances are in meter and then zero so it's still going to remain on this straight line and then another one minus zero point one zero so i'm going to come here here's the positive x axis negative x axis so for minus zero point one it's going to be on the left hand side okay minus 0.1 so from here to here we have 0.1 for the negative x axis here to here we have 0.1 as well on the positive x axis now you notice that they are all falling on the straight line this is simply because of the values of y okay the value of y in this case is 0 and in this case is 0 so it's going to what now fall on this straight line okay now what's the next thing we're going to do we are going to bring out the charges okay this is that we are having two positive point charges of value tends to the power of minus 8 okay so one was positioned um, position there, 10 to the power of minus 8 coulombs, and the other one was positioned um, position there, 10 to the power of minus 8 coulombs as well. I could call this Q1, and then I'll call this Q2, okay? Now, before we attempt that problem, it is important for you to understand how electric uh, lines or electric field works, okay? Like I said, for a positive charge, they are directed outward. It's also important to take note that for a negative charge, it is directed inward these two things are very very important okay they are very very important as this will help you solve some more complex problems okay about the direction especially for electric fields okay now electric field intensity is a vector quantity so we might, we might as well want to treat it as a vector quantity because it will help us in solving this problem okay vector quantities have magnitude not just magnitude they have directions as well okay so if for example there is, a, there is a positive charge here, okay, and it is placed at a point on that region. We might as well want to talk about the direction in which the electric field is going to act. But we do know that it's always what now going outward, okay, that it is coming out of the what now, the positive charge. Okay, now we are given positive charges, so we do know that the electric field for this one is going outward in any direction, in this direction, this direction, and also in this direction. And for this one, also in any of these directions, okay, it's going anywhere. But the question wants us to just consider one point for A, okay? For A, okay, that's the first thing. It wants us to just consider one point, which is at the origin, okay? Which is at the origin. To do that, we are going to take the sum of the electric force or the total sum of um, um, the electric force at this point, or electric um, field intensity rather, not electric force. Now, to do that, we might want to make use of this formula, but then there is a shortcut. Before I talk about the shortcut, I just want to at least make use of this formula. Okay, so E is equal to KQ over R squared. Now, the distance for this first one will be from here to here. We need to calculate the electric field, and the distance from here to here, we are going to calculate it as well. Okay, now take note of the direction because I said it is what now a vector. Okay, so to do that, to make use of the superposition um, formula, which is E1 plus E2 plus dot 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 plus E, and this simply means. To get the net electric field intensity, we are just going to what now sum the individual electric field intensity or electric field strength. Now, for the first one, let's calculate from here to here. Now, the distance from here to here in this case is 0 0.1. Okay, given in the question. So, for this first one, we do know that E can be calculated to equal uh, using the formula kq over r squared. We are going to have k times q in this case is 10 to the power of minus 8 divided by r squared r squared is 0 0.1 squared okay now this one is positive now why is it positive because we know that for a positive charge it is going outward so if it is going outward and we're positive uh, and we're continuing this point it will move from here to this point okay so the line or the electric field line is going to go from this point down to this point in the positive direction okay you can see it is what now moving in the positive direction why is it moving in the positive direction? Because it is what now a positive charge. Assuming it was a negative charge, we are positioning this point. We are going to um, take distance from here to here. But we'll notice that even if it is on the negative part, it will be moving in the negative direction. Okay? Why? Because what now? It will be a negative charge. But in this place, we are having what now a positive charge there. So it is what now moving in the positive direction. That is why I said these lines are what now very important. Okay? And then again, for this other guy. Let's call this E1 and let's call this E2. Now for E2, it is placed there, it is a positive charge. The electric flux is going outward. For our positive point, so we are just going to um, consider the electric line on this straight point, okay, down to the origin. 
Now in this case, it is moving towards the right hand side. Okay, I'm sorry, towards the left hand side, rather, which is what now in the negative x direction. So for the negative x direction, we are going to have negative as well. That's times k. What's the value? 10 to the power of minus 8. Okay, divided by the distance from here to here is what now? 0.1 or what now? Squared. Now to get the net electric field, we don't have to start considering the minus because we've already done this in the solution. Okay, and that will give us E is equal to E1 plus E E2. And that is equal to E1 is k times 10 to the power of minus 8 divided by 0 0.1 squared. Okay, plus what is E2? E2 is minus k times 10 to the power of minus 8 divided by 0 0.1 squared. Notice that both of them are the same. When you subtract them, you get what now? 0, right? So these two, are, these two guys are the same. Plus times plus gives you minus. So you subtract them, you get 0. What does it tell you? The electric field at the center or at the midpoint or at the origin in this case is what now equal to zero. Now remember I said there is a short score to doing this, but I decided to skip the short score first. I'm going to talk about this now. Here is the normal scenario. Imagine we're having two charges here of equal magnitude and then um, they are placed at a distance apart. They said the origin. In this case, the origin is the midpoint. Why is it the midpoint from here to here is 0.1, from here to here is 0.1? And this one is positive, this one is positive. So we know the electric field strength will be moving out down to this point. The electric field strength for this one will be moving up down to this point. So if they are moving in opposite direction, and we know this one is having 10 to the power of minus 8, 10 to the power of minus 8, the same distance from the center. It means they are having what now? The same magnitude. Remember vectors. When vectors are moving in opposite direction, what do we do? We subtract, right? That was exactly what we did here. We subtracted. Okay? Now, what is the short code? Since they are having the same value and they are at the midpoints, Okay, they are placed um, at a distance in which you have to find the electric field strength at the midpoint. We know that it should be zero because they just cancel out. This one has an electric field moving in this direction, an electric field moving in this direction. Let's say this one has uh, a two units electric field, two units electric field because they are equal in magnitude. At the center, they are going to work now, just cancel out. Okay, at the midpoint, even if you are not doing that, it's what now at the origin. So for a case like this, we are just going to um, take the shortcuts if you wish. Okay, we are going to get zero. And also, we could also consider a point here. If we consider a point here, it will not be what now? Zero. Why? Because as this one is moving down to this point, the electric field strength is what now? Decreasing. Initially, if it was 2 here, as we are moving away from it, it could be what now? Let's say 0 0.5 at this point. Okay, for example, let's say it gets here. And it's what now? 0 0.5. Moving in the negative x direction minus. And for this one, it is 2 initially moving this point. It doesn't even go to the center. And then it is what now? Let's say 1. Okay, or two instead. Let's one or two, any one. Okay, so if at this point it is still having a unit of what now one, they are not going to cancel out because one is one and the other one is what now 0 0.5. Okay, um, I meant also want you guys or like you guys to at least go to the examples again. Okay, and the explanation is to help you work now get a good understanding on how to solve problems like this. Okay, because this was one of the first few um exercises you come across. If you are into studying electric fields under static electricity. Now, the next problem we are going to take is the B part, which says, in this case, it is placed at um, a distance 0 0.2 comma 0. Okay? 0 0.2 comma 0. We know that here we measure 0 comma 0. Okay? So here is um, 0 0.1. Okay? We have Q1 here. And uh, we have Q2 here. Which was also from here to here 0 0.1 okay and we are told that the distance or the coordinate is um, 0 0.2 comma 0 so we know for why it is zero so it's still on that straight um or that's um that same straight line and then for x it is 0 0.2 okay so if from here to here is 0 0.1 let's say from here to here is another 0 0.1 so from here to here is 0 0.2 so i'm going to come here and i'll take from here to here as 0 0.2 Okay, they want us to find the electric field strength at a point there. Okay, now to do this, most persons or most um, books you find will tell you that we are assuming to that there's an um, there's a charge there that will express it. Let's call it a point charge, and these other ones are the source charges. Okay, the point charge will be called Q. Well, it is the same thing. You don't have to stress yourself about it since we already have a formula that has just one charge Q. You don't have to start stressing yourself making use of this one. Okay, so to find that one. We are going to calculate the net electric field for Q1 due to this charge, and we are assuming that there is no obstruction, no Q2 on the way. Okay, Q2 is there in this case. So for Q1 down to this point, we are having what now? No obstruction. So for this one, we are good to go, and then we'll come here from Q2 down to this point, no obstruction, no Q1. Okay, so we'll take the sum. 
So we're going to find the um, electric field strength of Q1 due to the output point, and that will be equal to E1 will be K times Q1 divided by what will be the distance? The distance will be from Q1 down to the point we need. Now we know from here to here is 0 0.2, from here to here is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, what do you get? You get 0 0.3 all squared according to the formula. Now it's moving in what direction now? In the positive direction. Okay, remember it's a, point, a positive charge, so we're having what now? A plus. How about Q2? Now for Q2, we're going to have what now? Um, here is Q2, we're going to use this point, so it's more now moving in that direction. Okay, the electric lines are moving in that direction. So it's also what now? Positive towards the right. So we're going to have um, also plus K Q2 divided by the distance from here to here is 0 0.1. Because here to here is 0 0.2, here to here is 0 0.1, we know that from here to the point we are considering is 0 0.1. Okay, all squared. Remember the trick is to make no, uh, make sure the distance you are using is distance from that point, okay, or from the charge rather, to the point you are looking for. So even if there is any other distance between, we must use what now? My distance down to the what now? The point I'm looking for. So for me, I'm going to what now? Add both, okay? So E becomes E1 plus E2, and that will be equal to KQ1, or we can choose, choose to make it of Q, since both of them are having the same magnitude. KQ over 0 0.3 squared plus KQ over 0 0.1 squared, okay? Factorizing, we get E is equal to KQ, um, okay, KQ in bracket 1 over 0 0.3 squared plus 1 over 0 0.1 squared, okay? Let's finish that up, okay? So to do that, we're going to get E is equal to K is 9 times 10 to the power of 9 times Q has the value of 10 to the power of minus 8 in the question, 10 to the power of minus 8, Okay, multiplying by 1 over 0 0.3 squared plus 1 over 0 0.1 squared. I'm just going to finish that using the calculator. So we get, uh, I'm going to get 9 times 10 to the power of 9 times 10 to the power of minus 8 times 1 over 0 0.3 squared plus 1 over 0 0.1 squared. Okay, now that will give us a value for E as um, this 10,000, which is the same as 10 to the power of 4 newtons per coulomb. Okay, so the electric field strength at this point is 10 to the power of 4 newtons per coulomb. Now, how about the direction? How are we going to know if the direction is towards the left or right? Obviously, this one is going towards the right, this one is going towards the right. So, we know that the next one has to go now, going towards the right. So, we can as well say towards the what now, positive x axis. Okay, in the direction of the positive x as that is the direction. Or to um, make it easy, you want to find E1 separately, find E2 separately. Okay, take the direction. Um, this one is moving this point, so that's plus moving this point plus. And when you add them, you see that they are both now um, both moving in the same direction, so that will give you the same thing. So E is 10 to the power of 4 newtons per coulomb in the direction of what now positive x axis. So that is how a problem like this is being solved. In our next problem, we're going to be having. The same question, okay, but rather we are going to be having um, a coordinate of free space that is quite different. He says that the um, um, point in, each, in the electric field in which we have to calculate it will be at an angle to the point charge or to the source charge rather, and then so many other things will be associated with it. So stay tuned in our next video, we are going to solve a more complex um, example, but it's still the same trick that is being used, okay. Nothing is going to change. So do wait to click on the notification bell for that next video, okay? And more to come if you are studying electrostatics or electric field. And then um, do wait to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, okay? See you in the next video. Stay tuned.